All right. Hi, my name is Caleb Booker. I'm a jack of all strange. And uh, this is the first of a series of videos about the Elder Futhark set, the rune set for, uh, from uh, Northern mythology. Forgive my use of the term. Um, this is uh, a set of symbols that speak to the structure of the universe and are really helpful if you're trying to develop a series of meditations that really get to the heart of what's going on inside of you and what's going on in the world around you. Runes are also traditionally used in uh, fortune telling, for lack of a better word, and uh, of, uh, uh, you know, just ca when you cast runes, uh, meaning uh, you pull runes out and, and put them in a pattern, you're able to really draw upon what's going on inside and going on around in your life. Now there are 24 in total, I'll do one a day, and the first one is Fehu. Uh, here's the, uh, the rune I carved for myself about 10 years ago, give or take. And uh, it's a little rough, forgive me, this was the first one, they get cleaner after this. Fehu, uh, and I, I drew it on a, a piece of paper, you'll see it in two forms. The one with the, uh, the branches uh, both meeting at the top, the other just off to the side, both are equally valid. And you'll hear it pronounced differently, Fei and Feo and Feihu, are all valid pronunciations. You'll find with all these runes, they're always short forms uh, for all of them. Uh, it seems like the, the Nords were all big fans of uh, sh making a, a nicknames for everything. So Fei, what's the point of Fei? Fei is wealth. Fei is wealth, yes. It's, it's also cattle. Uh, because cattle was exchangeable wealth, and there's the key to Fehu. Uh, and it's also flame. Why is flame an exchangeable wealth? Well, why are these two things related? Well, you may have noticed the smoke coming up in front of me. Here's an incense stick. I used flame to light it, and now it is transforming from just a, an orange stick on my, on my desk to smoke and heat and the stick is going to disappear. That is the essence of Fehu. Cattle was regarded as an easily exchanged sign of wealth. And that's the point. It's not just that it's wealth. It's that it's exchangeable wealth. And the flame right now is, is exchanging one good for another. In the same way, wealth comes from using your skill and exchanging that for a good or, or another service. Um, the essence of wealth is exchange. It's movement. It's energy. Wealth is not a static thing. It's not an object. It is an exchange of energy. And it's, it's a movement. It's, a, it's kinetic. And if things all stay still, if things don't move, there's no fehu. There's no wealth. This is the grand lesson, and the kind of things that you get from runes that you don't get from elsewhere. What follows Fehu in the, the Futhark set is, is or uh, Urus, and uh, that is the state of stability, the state of having and, and of, of being strong and stable. But it does not exist until this exists, until flame and cattle and exchange and uh, and movement exists. This has to come first. For all of you people who are into law of attraction and you're trying to figure out where wealth comes from, it's not just meditation. It's not just frame of mind. It's movement and action. Without that, there is no wealth. Uh, so, uh, Fehu is the first rune in the uh, uh, first et of uh, the Futhark set. Uh, its color is light red you know, as a symbol of coals. And uh, if you want to know more, of course, there's lots of information online, but that's really what you need to know. Tomorrow, another room. In the meantime, feel free to leave comments, ask a question, and do subscribe. More to come. Thank you.